Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to boost your Shopify SEO and Google rankings with some cool SEO tools and SEO strategies. We're gonna jump right into it. And every single store needs to focus on search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO, to win. And I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, really kind of powerful strategies and if you're relying on paid ads, SEO is a great way to start diversifying your traffic. And obviously in the long term, it can be organic, AKA free traffic. So uh, every single store owner should be paying attention to SEO strategies. And one of them is uh, having a site map. Google rep recommends store owners have a site map. And it's a real simple strategy. You basically generate a Google compliance site map. It gets automatically updated with literally every single page, every single product on your uh, store, on your site, and it gets automatically submitted to Google and all the other search engines. Really, Google is the one that we always care about. Very easy strategy and a very powerful thing in the SEO world because Google doesn't often tell you exactly what they want to see. This is one of the things where they definitely are open about it being a big benefit on SEO wise. It really helps them organize your site better and uh, show it in more searches. So it's a win-win there. Another strategy, no index, no follow. These are some cool SEO tags that can be added to specific pages. Really what it's gonna allow you to do is control where search engines crawl, AKA basically what pages they're able to see, what pages they're able to add into their search engine results. These are meta tags for pages that you uh, might uh, want to hide from search engines. Basically when you say that pages don't get indexed, it means that they're gonna be hidden or not included in the search results. It's another easy but very powerful strategy. And this is what solves the duplicate content issue, which can harm your SEO score. Basically duplicate content, having the same exact content on multiple pages, you can control that with these no index, no follow pages without having any harm to your store. But there are some pain points in implementing these strategies. There's no built-in sitemap functionality with Shopify. There's no built-in no follow or no index rules. You're gonna need to use an app in order to generate these and to have full control over these. And uh, we don't want to ever be looking at code or anything like that. So the app needs to be easy to use, needs to be easy to install, and it needs to create those HTML and XML sitemaps. That's what Google wants to see. It needs to provide other tools as well, like being able to fully control those no follow, no index on a page by page basis, auto updating your sitemaps. Those are kind of the key things to good SEO tools. And that's why I'm going to show you the sitemap no index SEO tools app. Incredibly powerful. This is what I use. This is what I recommend to uh, all of my students. And you see the uh, link directly below this video. I'm going to show you the uh, app page over here in a second, but highly recommend it. It's going to allow you to kind of implement all of those strategies that I recommended. Strategies that are proven, even Google comes out and says they are uh, good for SEO, for search engine optimization. And this is the sitemap no index SEO tools app. Again, you see the link directly below this video, 10 for 10 in terms of those five star reviews, perfect review store uh, score. It's gonna provide the HTML sitemap, it's going to provide the XML sitemap, and it's gonna allow you to have full control over those no index and no follow meta tags. Really, really easy to use. I'll show you the back end in a minute, but really, really cool app over here in the back. Looks good, easy to use, generates that XML and HTML sitemap, automatically submits it into Google as well. So you're gonna have really all of the kind of benefit that you could imagine and really never needing to look at any of the code, never needing to do anything technical when it comes to SEO. So I invite you to take a look at this. You see the link directly below this video, but we're gonna go over the shoulder now. We're gonna go ahead and install this app. All you need to do is press the add app button. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where we're just gonna simply click install app. This is gonna make that automatic connection between our store and sitemap no index SEO tools. Really all you need to do, no technical skill required to get set up and once we launch here, we'll be sent into our dashboard. Over here on the dashboard, the first thing that we wanna do is enable the app. We just need to click this enable button. It's gonna then open up our theme editor where we'll have this over here toggled. If you wanna ever disable it or re-enable it, you just move this toggle over here. We'll save this over here. This will happen automatically when you press enable. Then you'll need to click the check installation button. This will be the final step. It will just do that check and then you'll see everything kind of disappear here and we are ready, good to go. We have our app setup steps here now that we've performed the onboarding and we could run through these to get the app fully set up. Okay, let's get started following these steps. Step number one, add an HTML sitemap to your store. We're gonna do HTML and XML and literally they're just gonna provide very, very simple step-by-step -step instructions over here. So 
our HTML site sitemap can be found over here on this uh, site. You'll notice that the way that it's formatted, this is proper and this is what Google wants to see, all the search engines want to see. We could add a sitemap now into our navigation, typically going to put this in a footer navigation, but you can really put this in any menu that you want. This video is really just kind of all about showing how to do it, but all you need to do is go into your online store. I'll open this in a new tab real quick. We'll go to the online store, then we'll go into navigation. Then we're going to find the right menu and we're simply just going to create or uh, create the menu entry for this sitemap. I'm going to go ahead in this case, you see that I have, uh, we'll come over here in navigation. You see I have a couple different menus. I'll go in the footer menu. What we need to do, come over here, click add menu item. We're going to come over and give this a uh, page name over here, sitemap. And we'll come down over here and link this over here. It's going to be just a copy and paste right over here, slash a slash sitemap. Uh, hyphen tools slash sitemap. This is going to be the universal link, work for everyone. You don't need to put the HTTP or anything. You just put it just like that. It's going to automatically work with your domain. You click add, you'll see the sitemap get added right over there. Now we'll come over to the website, take a look down here on our footer menu, and we'll see there it is, our sitemap implemented over here. This is our HTML sitemap, and we can come over here and take a look at it literally showing all the pages, all the collections. That's the whole idea of an HTML sitemap. You can view it on the store. Same as the XML, going to be a list of every single one of your pages, products, everything. And that was pretty simple. We already have that set up. We can come back over here now into the, uh, we'll go back and go into the next setup steps. And what we need to do next is submit an XML sitemap. So this involves the Google Search Console, and this is something very, very important. Every store owner should have this. If you don't have it, you're going to definitely want to sign up for Google Search Console. It's totally free. The process is really simple. You just come over here, click on their tutorial. Again, you'll need to have a uh, Google Search Console account, but it's very, very easy to do. You basically just sign up for a free one. Then you're going to go ahead and submit this link as your sitemap. Okay, this is your actual, you see, XML sitemap. It's going to be the same as an HTML sitemap, just is going to be in a different format. This is not really to be read by uh, kind of humans. As you see, it's kind of all based on a little bit of uh, code. This is XML code. Bottom line is this is to be submitted to Google through the Google Search Console. Click on this. You'll see the little kind of over the shoulder. You can watch this tutorial in terms of submitting, but very, very simple and very powerful. Again, no matter what type of store you have, no matter what type of site you have, you should have Google Search Console for all your search engine optimization stuff. We're over here now into step three, enable our recommended settings. We're going to come over here and follow the necessary steps here. Now we have a bunch of different kind of ideas. And of course, we've already created the sitemap. We're going to submit it to Google as I showed you. But there are some kind of uh, best practices that we're going to be able to implement here in terms of our no index, no follow settings. Without getting too technical, this is just kind of a, a setup that's going to make sense for search engines. So we're just going to follow these best practices. We're coming over here into no index and then special pages. I have that right over here. And you see that there are a couple of different sections here where we have no index, no follow buttons. Again, this basically means we're not going to have the search engine find these pages. Why do we want to do this? Again, this is best practice for search engine optimization. So we're going to come under the special pages. We're going to look for the pagination section. We're going to do no index for the pagination. We're coming over here. We're going to do no index, no follow for search results and for 404 not found. So these two, and we're going to save. Okay, again, without getting too technical, basically the uh, search engines are not going to find these pages. Why? Because these are best practices for SEO. Okay, we're going to come over here into products over here as well. I'm sorry, into collections. And this is the next step over here. So in collections, we're going to set no index for our tags, vendors, and types. So we're coming over here. Here's types, vendors, tags, setting no index for all of those. Again, best practice for SEO. Coming down here to blogs and articles, we're going to set no index, no follow for the tags, the only option here. And that completes our setup. We can come over into the dashboard over here. You could do more no index and no follow tagging over here. Again, we kind of just saw what we were looking at there. This is kind of a look at every single product page individually. And we can kind of go through here. We have products, collections, articles. We're going to see this all throughout here. And no index, no follow. Again, we can control these on an individual basis. If for some reason, let's say we didn't want the all the cats please shirt to be found on search engines, maybe we we're doing a super exclusive private sale, we can come over, edit this, change it to no index, no follow. All right, so you have individual control over that. But really, the whole idea is that you have full control over everything when it comes to that sitemap, HTML, and XML, and the no index, no follow. And this is the real power of these SEO tools. So that was the sitemap no index SEO tools app. Again, I highly recommend it. Very, very easy to use, but very powerful. 
just install this ASAP, get those SEO strategies up and running. Very easy to do, kind of set it and forget it after that. You'll have full control if you want to add any more pages to that no follow, no index. Again, on a page by page basis, you saw the app. No technical skills whatsoever. Don't be intimidated by search engine optimization. This app, this uh, little suite of tools is going to allow you to take full advantage of the power of SEO. Make sure you get this installed in your store. Again, you see the link directly below this video. Highly recommended. If you have any questions, post in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this helps you make some money.